gentleman from uh, Connecticut is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the Rules Committee's motion in passage of the underlying bill, House Joint Resolution 76, which will block Secretary Betsy DeVos's anti-student borrower defense rule. Over the last five years, for-profit college chains have, without warning, closed their doors on enrolled students who had paid their tuition, Corinthian College, ITT Tech, Dream Center, Education Management Corporation, as have smaller schools like Ridley Lowell in New London, Connecticut, which shut its doors midterm without notice on a school day two years ago. In 1993, Congress created the Borrower's Defense Rule through the Higher Education Act to relieve student loan debt for student victims of fraud. Now we have a Secretary of Education who wants to gut that law by making students whose classes, diplomas, and certificates have been terminated to jump through a ridiculous maze of hoops before they can get what Congress intended back in 1993 and the Obama administration was actually implementing, namely justice, a complete discharge of student loan debt on the basis that students were victims of fraud. The convoluted explanation that the DeVos Department uses to deny discharge is a smokescreen for their, the administration's blatant bias in favor of for-profit colleges. One group that sees the harm that the Education Department will do to, with the new rule is surprisingly to some, the American Legion, America's oldest and largest veterans organization. As the National Commander stated recently, thousands of student veterans have been targeted and defrauded over the years by some of these ripoffs and have lost precious GI Bill benefits as a result. As the commander states, quote, the rule as currently written is fundamentally rigged against defrauded borrowers of student loans, depriving them of the opportunity for debt relief that Congress intended to offer, afford them under the Higher Education Act. Mr. Speaker, this chamber should heed the American Legion, stand up for student veterans and all students, and vote for House Joint Resolution 76. I thank you and yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back.